Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play my homemade card game, Dimension Battles. So, I'm going to show you guys a basic card. So this card is Baby Unicorn, he is a new card that you guys haven't seen yet. But anyways, I'm just going to be teaching you how to play. I made a rule video before, but it wasn't the best explanation and some of you guys are still confused. So here is a better rule video. So on the upper left hand corner, this is the type of the card. There are six types of cards. Light, fire, water, dark, grass, earth, and metal. Yeah, that's all six. And item cards. So item cards are like spells and traps, kind of, you know, like item cards, not creatures. But anyways, so this is a light type card. That's the type. Right here is the name, Baby Unicorn. This is the rarity, common, rare, ultra. It's a common. And this is the stage, stage one. We'll get into the stages later. This is the power. And this is the defense. So basically, the way the card game works is we have this card right here, Water Force Dragon, he's a stage 2. When a creature attacks another creature, say this Baby Unicorn attacks Water Force Dragon, he Baby Unicorn has 300 power, and Water Force Dragon has 300 defense. If their power, if the attacking creature's power is greater than or equal to the defense of the card that's getting attacked, it'll get destroyed. But say it's less than, like Baby Unicorn was attacking Lost Dragons, you would subtract 300 from 400, which would leave Lost Dragons at 100 defense. So basically, if it's less than it, then you would subtract from it. And then when you attack again, then it'll get destroyed. And basically, that's the basic battle system between creatures. To summon a creature, you need to pay a token. Every turn, you gain one token. So in the beginning of each of your turns, you draw a card and gain one token. You draw a card from your deck. Each deck can only contain 36 cards or less. It has to contain 36 cards. You start out your turn with three cards in your hand. And every turn, you draw one more card. So I'll put the deck right over here. And every turn, you draw a card and gain a token. So every single creature costs one token to play so if i want to play lost dragons you have to pay one token and in order to summon a creature you need to make sure that their stage can fit so remember how i said that this is the stage but we have a stage one card stage two card stage three and stage four card so before you play a creature what you want to do is every si single other turn you add a stage so to add a stage you place one diamond in between you and your opponent. So here's an example. I go first, I place a stage. The opponent goes, they don't place a stage. I go, I don't place a stage. Then the opponent's turn, they place a stage. My turn, opponent's turn, then when it's my turn again, I place a stage, their turn, my turn, then their turn again, then they place another stage. I know that kind of sounds confusing, but it's every other first turn, every other turn kind of not every other turn but like every other second turn so like it goes me i place they they don't place me i don't place they they place so they place a one then me then them then me then i place one so basically like alternating but you can't go again hopefully that makes sense and basically whenever a stage is increased say it's stage one you can only summon stage one or less creatures to the field if it's stage two you can summon stage two or less creatures, stage three, stage three or less creatures, and etc. stage four, stage four or less creatures. And one thing you have to remember is the total stage of your creatures have to add up to equal four. Or they don't have to, but you, the total stage has to be less than four. So you can't have these three creatures at the, out at the same time because that will equal seven, which you can't have that because then you'll be going over the limit. And another thing to remember is there's only three creature slots. So you can have uh, possibly three creatures out at a time. There are three item card slots beneath it, the deck slot, and the discard pile slot for when a creature gets destroyed. So basically, that's how creatures work. And another type of card... Oh, and after, if there's no creatures on your opponent's field, each creature can only attack once per turn. And say, for instance, the opponent's field looks like... Oh my gosh, I just threw my crystals in here. Um, 
kind of awkward. There we go. Let me just retrieve them. Hold on a second, guys. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna get it later. Forget it. Okay, so say for instance, we your opponent has lost dragons on their field. So what you want to do is he has 400 power. So if you use that one to attack, they're down to 100. Then him to attack, then he's dead. You can now attack your opponent directly with baby unicorn still. So each player has 20 health, indicated by the dice. So this is your opponent's health, and this is your health. When a creature attacks directly, you subtract the zero. So if he has 300, if he's attacking with 300, the opponent takes 3 damage. If you attack directly with 200, they take 2 damage. 400, they take 4 damage, etc. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And yes, yeah, so that's the basic mechanic of the game. And now, of course, the game can't be that simple. There has to be other cards also. So this type of card right here is called an item card. So item cards are basically cards that you can play underneath your creature zone. You can play them. Oh, and when you attack a creature, you can attack any lane. It doesn't have to be the one right in front. And when you play an item card, it says add one item card from your discard pile to your hand box of toys. So if a card asks you to do something, you use the effect and then you discard it. See, that's it. And item cards don't cost anything. You don't have to pay a token to play them like you do with creatures. You can play them for absolutely for free, which is a good thing about item type uh, item cards. But there are item cards like unexpected power where it says equip this card to one creature. If it says equip it to a creature, you have to put it right below that creature and it stays there on the field. And that and you apply the effect. For instance, it gains 100 power. So now Lost Dragons has 500 power. And you can equip it to your creature or your opponent's creature unless it says specifically you can't. And another thing to keep in mind, a creature can only have one card equipped to it at a time, which is the one right below it. And remember, item cards don't cost any tokens at all. So those are item cards and creatures. So that's the basic concept of the game. And the reason why I'm making another rule of videos is because now we have two type creatures. So hopefully this isn't too overwhelming, this tutorial. But basically, this new type of card called two type creatures works like this. If In order to play a two type creature, you have to have both those types in your discard pile. So in order to play a plant infested monster, you have to have a grass type and a metal type both in your discard pile. So if those conditions are met, then you can just play plant infested dragon from your hand. And it doesn't even matter what stage it is. That's why it's all yellowed out right there. So you can play it during any stage as long as you have both of those in your discard pile. And other than that, there's just a regular card with effects. See this card has an effect that you can use. And this card gains 100 power for every... For every plant infested monster and technogon in your discard pile. It's like a combination of the both, but you don't have to have them to play them. All you have in order to play a combiner creature, all you have to have is those two in your discard pile. And like for instance, water sprite. This is the card made by my cousin. I think I'm just gonna stick a water sprite. I'm just gonna trace that in black. But basically her effect is she doesn't have an effect, but you need to have a water type and a grass type in your discard pile in order to play her, which is pretty cool. So that's how two type creatures work. There's another addition to the game that I thought would be fun and interesting. And I needed to make another tutorial so I can show them also. So hopefully this rule video helped you understand how to play my card game. Now, if there's any clarifications, you can always ask questions down there in the comment section. I reply to all comments, so don't worry about it. Even if it may take me a while to reply to them, I always get them to get to them eventually. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And that's it for today's video. Bye guys.